All right, my friends, we just finished the nutrition seminar at the gym. Now we're gonna take the whiteboard to the kitchen. Follow me as we buy our produce for dinner tonight. The key to healthy grocery shopping is shopping on the perimeter of the store. Follow me. Good to see you. Yeah. One chicken breast, please. Full or half? Full. Bone and skillets, right? Yes, please. Right on. I'll trade you one for that scowl, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> hey, you drive a hard bargain, I don't know. That is the Warrior Spirit Award. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Okay, thanks very much. for you? I will do it. Thank That's you. Good. Last but certainly not least, we gotta get our fat, and tonight we're using almonds. All right, well, we just came from the gym where we had our nutrition seminar, and at the gym, we made a meal, theoretically, on the whiteboard. And what we made at the gym was carbohydrates, which were kiwi, and then we decided to have almonds as our fat, <laughs> and then we decided to have chicken breast as our source of protein. So, kind of a creative meal, but I like it because it's simple. And so what we're gonna do now that we're back from the grocery store is we're gonna make dinner the exact same way we agreed we'd make it around the whiteboard. So it's whiteboard to the kitchen. One of the things I always do when I start to make dinner for myself or really any meal is I feel grateful for the ability to go to the grocery store, buy healthy fresh food, come home and be able to make it. And if you're doubting right now that we have something to feel grateful for. All we have to do is go over to our sink and turn on the water. <laughs> we have running water. You know, and having been to places like Kenya when I was working with CrossFit for Hope, a lot of people in the world don't have water. And so the key, whenever you start to make food, is to feel grateful. And then before we eat, we'll also talk about the significance of prayer or bringing gratitude to the meal before you eat it. So if you've ever done this when cooking chicken, I'm cooking the chicken in one pan and I'll just put another pan equal proportion on top of it. As you can see, wow, that steam, that steam helps to cook the chicken and it keeps it very flavorful and juicy. My, my mom would be very proud of me for doing that. She taught me that. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay, so here we are on our cutting board. The next thing we have to do is weigh our food. So I have a food scale and I'm just gonna slice up this beautiful, super healthy chicken breast into a few pieces. And then I'm gonna place it on our food scale and I'm gonna weigh three ounces of chicken. As you can tell, about two thirds of our plate is kiwi. There's three kiwi, so we've got three blocks of carbohydrate. We have about one third of our plate here allotted to our protein, and we have three ounces of chicken. So we've got three blocks of protein. Now it comes time for our fat. So what we're gonna do for our fat is we're going to do one serving of fat done three times. So three almonds, one, two, three almonds. That's one block, six almonds is two blocks, and nine almonds, there we have our three blocks of fat. So what we have now is a delicious and nutritious, fully bounced three block meal. Protein, carbohydrate, and fat. Now, before we eat, the most important part of a meal, in my humble opinion, is thankfulness and gratefulness for the food. So I was raised Catholic, two amazing parents, and my mom and dad taught me that before every meal, you have to say grace. 
And so however you choose to pray before a meal, I definitely encourage you just to take a moment and feel grateful for the meal. So here we go. God, I'm so very grateful for this meal. May it bless my body and keep me healthy, safe, and strong. Amen. All right, time for dinner. <laughs>